I take a step back, I run back to the ball, and I like this better than sliding because you can get back quicker for a ball that's really deep. Pick my racket up, slide back, position my body so I can transfer my weight to my front foot and hit. And in fact, if that ball is up high and way behind me, I might even use a scissor kick up to hit and then push off and come back to the net for my next shot. A lot of players make the mistake of hitting and being off balance and continuing back. Now they have no chance to get back to the net. Once again, I cross over, step back, jump up to hit a deep ball, come down with my leg bent, my waist bent forward so I can push off and get back to the net for my next shot. We're going to start out with Eric demonstrating for us on the forehand volley. For the forehand volley, Eric will step out with his right foot, keep the wrist firm, then step into the ball with his left foot. Step with the right foot first. Notice how the elbow is well in front of his body as he takes that step with the right foot. Elbow in front, racket head stays up in the finish. It's a beautiful forehand volley. That first step starts him moving on the diagonal, and then he steps across to where the ball is. If this ball is a little lower, same idea. The right foot steps forward first on the diagonal. The left foot comes forward. He's going to lift this ball up. Good half volley, Eric. He lifts this ball up. Beautiful. The little longer swing on the finish, sorry, Eric, a little longer finish on the swing on the low volley. He wants to guide that ball up to the tape. Notice how his knees are bent. That right shoulder's down a little lower. He's feeling that ball over to this side, whether it be half volley, low volley, is immature. 